Spanish Investment Residence Plan Application Documents Here you can see the various topics that are discussed during our Spanish training sessions. We are now on Chapter 8, Document. In this presentation, we will focus our discussion on the short-term Schengen Visa Application Document. Let's begin this discussion with a quick overview of what a Schengen visa is. Schengen visas refer to visas issued under the Schengen Agreement. Under this agreement, any visa that is issued by a member of the Schengen Zone is considered valid in all other member states without having to apply for another visa. At the end of 2013, some of the more notable members of the Schengen Zone include Austria, Belgium, Denmark, Finland, France, Germany, Iceland, Italy, Greece, Luxembourg, the Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, and of course Spain. Schengen visas are short-term short visas and have two types, single or multi-entry. Every six months in a Schengen country, a person can stay up to 90 working days with their Schengen visa. The person can apply for this visa in order to do business, travel, transit, family reunion, marriage, work, or study. Now please check with the local Spanish embassy to see if there are any diplomatic missions or consulates that are closer to your location in your home country. Here are some notes on the submission of short-term Schengen visa applications. First, the copy of the application materials must be clear. All applicants for Schengen visas must submit their applications and provide biometric data, including fingerprints and photographs, in person at the Spanish Visa Application Center. The data will be kept in the Visa Information System VIS, for the next 59 months. After 59 months, if they wish to apply again, they will need to reprovide the biometric data. Please note, applicants must confirm with the Visa Center if there are any other special circumstances that may apply to them. Also, applicants must submit their application at least 15 working days before their departure, not including the day of delivery, and at least two to three days to the intermediary company to process the documents. This would be the agencies. Please reserve at least 17 to 18 working days of preparation time before the departure date to accommodate all of these factors. Spanish visa centers and embassies have the right to ask applicants to provide more materials or ask the applicant to participate in an interview. If the applicants are from another province, please kindly remind the applicant that there might be lots of people waiting in line and the applicant needs to pick up the numbers by themselves, so it might take some time for submission. Please do not buy an early return ticket. In addition, there will be lots of applicants on the first working day after the holidays. We recommend that if the applicant is not in a hurry, please avoid such rush periods. All applicants must provide original documents that include photos, at least two passport photos that should have a white background and be taken in the last six months. These photos should have a width of 26 to 35 millimeters and a length of 32 to 45 millimeters. If an applicant is employed, they should provide the following information on their company's official letterhead, which includes the company's address, telephone, and other relevant contact information. The contents of this letter should include the applicant's name, position, yearly and monthly income, working period, and any leave or holiday time that they have, which should cover their trip to Spain. It should clarify the purpose of their visa application to study or to travel. It should also indicate that the expenses associated with the time in Spain are paid by the individual. It needs to be issued within half a month prior to the submission of the application. A copy of the original documents with the local language and a copy with the English version should be provided, and they should include 
the company seal and the signature of the guarantor. Please note, if the applicant is a retiree, a pension or other fixed income certificate may be provided. If the applicant is an unemployed adult, married applicants can provide their spouse's job and income certificate, marriage certificate with the original version, copy version, and a translated version. Single, divorced, or widowed applicants can provide other fixed income proof. Applicants should also provide a bank statement that needs to be at least showing three to six months worth of bank statements from a savings account under the name of the applicant with the bank staff's special seal applied to it. The bank statement should clearly show that the bank cardholder's name and account number. The balance requirements include if only one applicant, balance should be at least 13,000 euros or the equivalent in foreign currency. An additional 6,500 euros should be added for each app additional applicant, and the balance amount will help with the application. So do not make large deposits before applications. If the applicant spouse and applies with them together, he or she should provide the proof of employment a bank statement under his or her name as well. If the applicant is a shareholder of a company, the applicant could provide the company's bank account for the recent three to six months separately. Health insurance. The coverage period of the applicant's insurance plan should last through the applicant's actual stay in the Schengen area. It has to have a minimum coverage of 30,000 euros and must cover all of the risks expected during the time of stay in the Schengen area, including repatriation. The insurance company must also be licensed to operate in Spain. Applicants can buy their own or entrust the agency to purchase it for them. If the agency must purchase it on their behalf, eight applicants should request this service in advance and be aware that the costs vary according to the application date. Application forms. The agency will fill in the application form according to the information provided by the applicant. The applicant will need to provide their address, phone number, and email. At the same time, the applicant will sign his or her own signature at the last page of the application form. Their signature must be consistent with the signature of the passport. Applicants under the age of 18 are not allowed to sign the application form, and this must be signed by their parents or guardians instead. All applicants applying for short-term Schengen visas need to provide the copy version and the original version of the following documents on A4 paper. Their passport, which must be valid for a period of at least three months after the applicant's last day of stay in the Schengen area. Please be sure that the passport has at least two blank pages. Applicants should also provide copies for the following pages. Two copies for the first and signed pages and one copy for all other pages. A marriage certificate. If the applicant is applying on their own, they do not need to provide a marriage certificate. However, if the applicant is applying together with their spouse, they need to provide their spouse's employment letter and a bank account statement if that is applicable to their circumstances, as well as the original marriage certificate and a copy of the certificate as well as a translated version. All applicants applying for short-term Schengen visas need to provide a clear copy of the following documents in A4 paper. An ID. Applicants need to provide a copy of both sides of the ID card, printed on a single-sided piece of A4 paper. Company business license to copy. This can be consistent with the company that issued the certificate of employment for the applicant. A copy of the company's business license must be stamped with the official seal. Hotel reservations. All trips should be included, reflecting the names of all of the applicants. The hotel reservation form must be uh, able to be canceled or changed. 
The specific date should be unified with the dates shown on the arrival and departure forms. If the applicants wish to make the reservation by themselves, they need to confirm the time with the intermediary company prior to their submission. Hotel reservations must be in either English or Spanish. Please note that if they need an intermediary company to help book the hotel, the applicant needs to provide a valid credit card and this information. The card number, cardholder name, card type, Visa MasterCard, valid date, and the free security code uh, on the back of the card. The hotel reservation provided by the intermediary company is only used to apply for the Schengen Visa, and the intermediary company will cancel the order before the order takes effect, but it will not produce a real uh, consumption of the hotel services. Ticket booking. This must be consistent with the entry date and departure date on the application form. English versions are required. Please note that the intermediary company can assist in booking. This order is only used to submit the visa. Short-term Schengen visa applicants who are accompanied by their children, in addition to providing the above documents, also need to provide the following documents on behalf of their children. A school enrollment letter and furlough certificate. It should be on school letterhead and include the school's address and telephone. The content of the letter needs to include the name of the child, their birthday, passport or identity number, time of entry, class number, graduation date, and the dates of leave. The time required should be covered in their application form. Please indicate that the travel expenses will be paid by the parents. And they must provide the original school enrollment letter in English and the local language, with both versions bearing the school's official seal and the signature of the guarantor. They should also provide proof of kinship that is notarized and certified. A birth certificate must also be provided if the child and the parents apply together. The original version, a copy version, and a translated version should all be provided. If one of the children and one of the parents apply, you will need to provide a certificate of birth and a certificate of kinship. Consent statement. When a minor applies for a separate application, the consent statement should be provided by the legal parent or legal guardian. When a minor applies with just one of the parents, it will be issued by the other parent or guardian to give their consent. Please note, these documents require notarization and certification from the local government office. The following documents should be supplied by the intermediary company. The relevant visa document translations and an attorney's invitation letter. If the applicant is applying for a business visa, they will need an attorney's invitation letter, so the intermediary company will contact the lawyer to send this letter to them. The investigation form. This should be provided in both the local language and in English and clearly show the applicant's investigation schedule for when they are looking at a property in Spain. Thank you very much for listening.